Welcome back to another Tech Debt Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on a MacBook uh, model 1398. This unit was mailed in to us for multiple repairs. Uh, we're gonna start with the LCD and also the battery. Uh, and let's make sure that that fixes everything, but we'll go ahead and open it up and get into it. Uh, so the first thing you see here is the battery. Battery is bulging to the point uh, that the bottom case actually will not close anymore. Uh, so a couple of these screws are already removed, uh, especially due to safety, we didn't want to leave those in. Uh, if there's a lot of pressure on the battery when it's swollen, it could puncture, uh, it could just get too hot uh, and cause a fire. So you want to make sure if you have a swelling battery and you notice either the trackpad or the bottom case expand like this, you want to relieve the pressure by taking those screws out. Uh, so these are pentalobe screws, so we're going to use our pentalobe screwdriver and take out the remaining screws. All right, and now we're gonna pop that bottom panel off and get a look inside. I'll get a closer shot for you guys, but as you can see, the battery is extremely, <laughs> extremely puffy. So the first thing we're gonna do, because it looks like this unit's never been opened, we're just gonna clean it up a little, make it a little sanitary for when we work on it. Don't wanna to touch all this gross dust here. All right, so now that we've got the unit clean and we can go ahead and work on it, we're gonna start by disconnecting the battery here. Just gonna use some tweezers. And this is our battery connection here. Just gonna pop it up and pull it backwards. I'm gonna flip the unit around here and we're gonna take a closer look at how swollen this battery is before we take it out. All right, so as you can see, especially on the side profile here, this thing was about ready to pop, honestly. It's a good thing it's in for repair. Let's go ahead and work on getting it out now. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start with a T5 screwdriver and loosen the two screws that hold on the uh, trackpad flex cable here to the logic board. So now that we have the trackpad flex cable loosened here, I'm just gonna pop it up from the board and peel it off. And since this battery is super swollen, I'm actually just going to disconnect it and get it completely, completely out of the way. Normally you can just leave it uh, plugged in at the bottom here and just leave it on the side, but this is super swollen, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. So to remove our battery, we're going to start by just putting some isopropyl alcohol all around it. Right, so we're gonna let that sit and break down the glue for just a little bit and then we'll go ahead and start removing the battery all right so we've let the alcohol sit for a minute just to help break down the glue we're gonna take our flat edge pry here and you can start anywhere on the sides here I'm gonna go ahead and start right here There we are, so that's that half free. We're gonna repeat the same process over on this right-hand side here. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with the center section here. All right, so that's the battery adhesive all completely free. Now we just have to free this center section here and the battery will come right out. So to remove this center section here, the little daughter board, we're gonna peel off this cover, take our T5 screwdriver, and there's two screws, one on the right side here, and one on the left side here as well. After you remove those two screws, the battery is now completely free. And there we are. All right, so now that we have the battery removed, we're gonna go ahead and use a scraper and remove the old glue strips here. That way when we put the new battery in, along with some fresh glue strips, everything lays flat and is secured and you don't hear the battery flopping around. All right, so after making sure that the glue is removed and our surface is all clean here, we like to take a little uh, industrial grade 3M tape 
and go ahead and stick it down. Uh, this just helps the battery really stick in there. Uh, the battery does come with a factory adhesive on there, uh, but this is just an additional level just to make sure everything's in there. And I like to use a little pair of tweezers just to make it easier on myself. All right, so now that that long grueling process of unpeeling all of our adhesive is done, we're gonna grab our battery here. We're gonna take off this protective coating. This keeps all the glue sticky. And the first thing we're gonna do Line it up on the inside. I like to snap the connector in first, just like that. And then the battery will simply fall in place, just like so. So we're just gonna push all around here, make sure all the glue is connecting in all the right areas. There is going to be one on the inside here as well as one on the left side here. And that is the battery installed. Uh, oddly enough, we're actually gonna go ahead and unplug that cable one more time here uh, because we are going to replace the LCD on this unit as well. And we don't want a power flowing through the unit when we are working on anything inside. So now we're gonna go ahead and replace the LCD. All right, so to prep the LCD for removal, there's a couple things we have to do first. We're going to start by removing these little rubber covers. I'm going to unplug all these Wi-Fi antenna cables here. And it looks like that one was broken. All right, now we're going to prop up that Wi-Fi card and pull it out. Set it aside. All right, so now we're gonna to switch to a T8 bit and unscrew the three screws at either hinge location on both sides that hold the LCD to the top case. Now that we've got all the screws loose, we just have to pop a couple connectors free, starting with the LCD connection here. So there is a little taped down retention bar that we have to flick upwards and then we can pull the connection itself out and away. Uh, the Wi-Fi antennas we already disconnected when we pulled out the Wi-Fi card. So those are all good to go. There is the uh, microphone and webcam cable we have to disconnect right here on the logic board. Which is easier said than done sometimes. There we are. And now the LCD is ready for removal. All right, so to remove the LCD, just like on any MacBook, we're just gonna open it up. And you'll see that the top case, which contains our whole computer, pops right off and leaves us with our LCD here. So since this is the broken one, we're gonna set it aside and grab our new one. So we've got our fresh part from our warehouse here. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. And before removing the cardboard, a little trick I like to do is take my pentalobe screwdriver or any screwdriver really, and use it to open up these hinges. They can be quite stiff. And the reason why I leave the cardboard on there is in case you go too deep or your screwdriver slips, uh, you won't risk damaging the hinges or the actual LCD screen itself. All right, now that we've got those pretty well open, we can go ahead and remove the cardboard. Our unit here. And the way you're gonna line this up is first get all your cables inside of the unit. And these little hinge points here on the top case, we're gonna go right there where it is. See, also located on the LCD. There we go. Got that one in place, trying to get the left one here. 
looks like the cable's in the way. Let me pull it out. There we go. So now that we've got them both in place, we're just gonna hold them. Flip the unit around here. I'm gonna hold it up like this so you guys can see. And I'm gonna take one T8 screw. I'm gonna start by making sure these cables run through this little uh, divider here correctly. And the first thing I'm gonna do, since it's hard to get to later on, is plug in the Wi-Fi microphone cable, sorry, <laughs> the face cam microphone cable there. The Wi-Fi is hanging off right here. Stick it down, make sure the grommet goes over it. Just like so, looks like we're positioned correctly there. The next thing I'm gonna do is plug in the actual LCD connection on the right hand side here. Slot it in and close and clamp down the retention bracket. All right, now that we've got our Wi-Fi antenna cable secured, uh, we're just gonna place these little rubber grommets back where they go. Now, these are honestly optional. They don't do too much to be 100% frank with you. Uh, but do make sure these grommets are back in place. They do make sure the fans don't suck in that hot air that they just uh, blew through the cooling system there. Uh, so the last step we have on the inside here is gonna be plugging back in the trackpad flex cable. We're gonna start down at the daughter board here. There we go. Close the retention bar. And we're gonna stick it back down to the top case and plug it back in to its new home. We're gonna place the retention bracket back on top and take the two T5 screws. And we're gonna place the bottom panel right back on. All right, so that is our battery as well as LCD replaced. Let's go ahead, give it power, open it up and Check out if everything works. All right, so we just gave the unit power. Looks like everything's coming on. Uh, that's gonna wrap up today's video. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techtop.com or click the link in below for mail-in repair. We'll see you guys in the next episode.